Hi friends and welcome to the Wish Eye channel. On this video we'll show you step by step how to fill out the entry form for diversity visa program this year. Together with us you will be able to avoid mistakes and answer all the questions correctly. Our video instruction in Russian language already has been used by thousands of people and I can say with confidence that it's the most detailed instruction on YouTube. So we are getting started. Come by on website dvprogramstate.gov. Be careful and check the link carefully. Don't fall into the hands of scammers. For convenience, I will leave a link in the description under the video. I recommend you to watch this video twice. The first time for understanding what kind of information and documents you will need to enter to the green card lottery. And the second time, together with us, step by step, fill out the form. The online registration period for the DV program will last till November, but don't wait until the end. Otherwise, you risk losing the opportunity to enter the lottery. On the main page, you can check the entry instruction by yourself and then check your photo for the photo requirements, but we are interested in a green button called Begin Entry. By clicking on it, You'll be taken to a page where you need to enter the verification code from the picture so that the system understands that you are not a robot and enter the data by yourself. Enter the code, press the Submit button. The first part of the questionnaire opens. I highly recommend copying and saving all your completed data in a separate document. You will understand why a bit later. Fill in and double check all the data carefully so that later, due to some mistake, you will not be disqualified or do not miss your chance. Question number one. Name. In the first line, enter the last name in Latin as it is written in your international passport. Please note that for the past few years, an applicant needs an exactly international passport for entry to the green card lottery. Next, enter the name. And further, middle name, which is usually not written on the international passport, so be sure to check. If it is not in the international passport, choose the No Middle Name option. If you indicate it incorrectly, you will be disqualified at the stage of the interview, as happened with many winners of the DV 2021 lottery past year. Question number two. Gender. Everything is simple here. Choose your gender and move on to the next step. Question number three. Birth date. Please note that first we indicate the month, then the day, and then the year. Question number four. City of birth. To write the name of the city of birth correctly, you can go to Google Maps, find it, and then translate the page into English in the language settings if your main language is not English. Question number five. Country where you were born. By clicking on this line, you should select a country from the list. Just find yours and choose. Easy. Another important moment. If the country where you were born no longer exists, like one of the countries from the former Soviet Union or Yugoslavia, you must indicate the name of the country to which your place of birth belongs at this moment. Question number six. Country of eligibility for the DV program. In our case, we don't need to change something here and leave the mark on yes. This item must be filled out only if your profile is not suitable for participation in the DV lottery. We talked about what to do and how to still apply in this case in another video. You will find the link on the description. So, the question number seven, passport. I will repeat, we are talking about the international passport. It must be valid at the time of filling out the form and preferably for the next two years because the results of the lottery will be available only in May next year and interviews gonna start in a year and will continue for another year. So, no one knows when you will be called for an interview. But if the validity period expires earlier, don't worry. You can make new passport after you find out that you have been selected as a winner. So. Enter your last name, first name, and choose the No Middle Name option if it is not in the international passport. As you can see, everything is the same here as on the first question. Next, 
Write your passport number, which is usually consists from letters and numbers. Then, passport expiration date. Write here the validity period of your passport. I draw your attention to the fact that first of all, we write the month, then the day, and at the end, the year. The next step is the country authority of insurance. From the proposed list, select the country which issued your passport. Easy. Subparagraph B of question 7 does not apply to you if you have a valid passport. Here, you put a tick only if you don't have a passport for the following reasons. You are a stateless person or a citizen of a country with a communist form of government, and that is why you cannot get a passport. And also, if your country does not have such a document as an international passport, but you received some individual document that is equivalent to the passport by the government of your country. Question number 8. Entrant photograph. Here, you need to upload your photo. You must meet certain requirements, which I talked about in another video. A link to it will now appear in the upper right corner of the screen and in the description under the video. The video in the Russian language, but you can turn on subtitles in the video setting and choose the language you need. By the way, you need not just your own photo, but also a photo of your spouse, if you are married as well as a photo of all your biological children from current or previous marriages, including all adopted children and children of your current spouse, even if you haven't adopted them. Even if the children do not live with you and don't have a plan to immigrate to the United States as part of your family. Photos of children are not needed only if they are already 21 years old and also if they are married and thus, according to the US law, are no longer considered as children. In general, as you can see, it is a quite difficult moment with photographs, so be sure to watch a thematic video on this topic, because an incorrectly taken photo or lack of a photograph of a child or a spouse will lead to the impossibility of filling out the form or disqualification from green card lottery. In addition, I will briefly talk about the parameters and requirements for photography at the end of this video, so watch it till the end. And if the photo is already ready and is on your device from which you are filling out the form, click on the Choose new photo button and select it. Question number 9. Mailing address. At this point, you should write the physical mailing address. It doesn't even have to be the address of your residence or registration, but you must have access to receive letters at this address. You most likely will not receive anything to it, but you still need to fill out this question. Point A. In Kiarov, you can leave it blank, enter the recipient's name if this is not your address of residence or duplicate your name and surname. Point B. Address line 1. Enter the street, house, apartment, reprinting the name from the English version of Google Maps or by yourself translating from your language to English. Point C. Address line 2. Here, we enter part of the address if it does not fit entirely into the line above. If everything fits into point B, leave this point empty. Point D. City, town. Just write the name of your place and nothing else. Point E. Write here the district, region, province, state to which your place of residence belongs. Point F. Write the postal zip code and that's it. And in point G, select the country. We pass to question number 10. Country where you live today. From the proposed list, choose the country in which you currently live. If, for example, you have Ukrainian citizenship but currently live in Belgium under a work contract or residence permit, you need to choose Belgium. Question 11. Phone number. Write your phone number in international format. Question number 12. Email address. Enter your email address twice and move on. Question number 13. What is the highest level of education you have achieved as of today? According to the rules of the lottery, your education must respond to the American high school or higher, which is can complete its secondary school or higher. 
If you graduated from college, vocational school, university, postgraduate or doctorate, choose the highest. I'll choose university degree and move on. Question number 15. What is your current marital status? At this point, it is very important to correctly indicate your marital status, otherwise you will be disqualified. You are given the following options to choose from. Unmarried. Married and your spouse is not a United States citizen. Married and your spouse is a United States citizen. Divorced. Widowed. And the last point, legally separated. Almost in all countries, such a concept is not legally formalized, so we definitely do not choose it if you have not received an official document. I'll choose married, and my spouse is not a United States citizen, to show you how to fill out a questionnaire for your spouse. And finally, the last question in the first part of the form, question number 15. Number of children. I will write one to show you how to fill out form for a child. Press the continue button and proceed to the next part of the filling form. If you are not married and you have no children under the age of 21, then you immediately proceed to check the completed data of your entry form. And if you have indicated a spouse and or children, you will be redirected to the second part of the form where you will fill information for them. By the way, after clicking the continue button, a crash may occur and the page will not load. This is due to the large number of participants. The server just can't handle the load. More than 14 million people fill out this form every year, and they all do it within one month. So I advise you to fill out the form not in the last days, but to do it right after the registration opens, for not missing the opportunity. In this case, you can try to click the back button in the browser and if your form has been saved in history and has already been filled, then click continue button again. If it still doesn't work, you can wait and try to fill out the form again after a few hours or the next day. Right for this case, at the beginning of the video, I advise to write and save all your information in some document to take from there if it's needed to fill up again. If everything with connection is fine, you will be redirected to the next page, the second part of the form, filling out the data for derivatives. Question number 14. Spouse name. Write the last name or surname and name of your spouse in English. The requirement to have an international passport at the time of filling entry form is only for the main applicant. So, if the spouse or children do not have an international passport, no problem. Write the name and surname by using transliteration rules. If they have international passport already, get the information from there. Question number 14D. Birth date. First write month, then day, and then year. Question number 14E. Gender. Choose spouse gender and move on. Then city where spouse was born. Then country where spouse was born. Add a photo, which must also meet all the requirements as yours. As you can see, this part of the questionnaire is similar to the one that you filled out with data for yourself. So, we've done with spouse part. If you did not select the children, click the continue button. If you have children, fill in the last point 15. Enter the child's surname and first name. By analogy with a spouse, if the child has an international passport, Take the data from there. If not, write the name and surname by using transliteration rules. Then write month, day and year of the child's birth. Select gender, city and country of birth. Add a photo which must also meet all the requirements as yours. If you have indicated two or more children, then fill in all the information for all other children accordingly. After finished with these points, press continue and proceed to the final part of the questionnaire. At this stage, the system makes it possible to double check all the entered data for the main applicant and for derivatives. Carefully review all field information and if you find a mistake, 
click on the button Go back to part 1 or Go back to part 2 and be sure to fix them. If there are no mistakes and you have filled in everything correctly, press the Submit button. That's all. The next page will look like this. Click on the Print button in the upper right corner of the page and save the electronic copy to your device. And also take a screenshot of the page and additionally send all these data by email. In general, do everything possible so that you for sure not lose this information, because you will need it only after half a year, and during this time anything can happen. In case of loss, you will be able to restore this information via email address, but do you really need extra worries? And now, as I promised, briefly about the photo requirements. If the photo does not meet the established requirements, you will be disqualified. So the preparation of the photo must be taken very seriously. The easiest way is to contact a photo studio, specifying that you need a photo on the profile to participate in the green card lottery. But if you want to take a photo by yourself, use this instruction and then check the result on the DV Program State Gov website in the Sample Photos section. By the way, we have a great step-by-step -step video instruction on how to properly take a photo at home on your own. You'll find a link on description. That's all, friends. I hope the information was useful and you filled out this entry form easy. By the way, on our channel you find all information about green card lottery and also all important and latest news on this topic. The main language of our channel is Russian, but all videos has high-quality subtitles translated into 15 languages, so just turn them on on the settings and choose the language you need. In future, we'll translate all important videos on English too. So, if the information was useful, please support us. Like this video, share it with your friends, leave your comment and see you soon.